my passion is starting new things if I'm going to pinpoint it. When the first iPod program came out, it was uh, this brand new thing that no one knew about and I felt like I had the opportunity to kind of pave the road. The iPal program stands for the Integrated Path to Architecture Licensure. Uh, there was a proposal sent out by the National Council of Architecture Registration Boards and we were one of the first 13 universities that were accepted. I'm a strong believer in that connection with the university and the School of Architecture. One of the biggest challenges with the architecture profession is students graduating, um, they have one idea of the architecture education and then they have another idea of what practice is actually going to be like. And so I think the opportunity to be able to insert students uh, into the profession early on into their education is a very positive thing. While the IPAL students are attending our program, they're gaining the hours required so that at the time of graduation, they walk up on the stage and they have their degree and their license. That's the intention of the program. One of the great things about LSRP is the level of exposure to different types of experiences within the project and from beginning to end because it allows you to think about how the building comes together and thinking about that assembly system is difficult for an intern um, with no experience. But that's an important thing about being an architect is knowing how the assembly comes together. Well, one thing I love about Beckham is that he lives and breathes architecture, so it's invigorating for me to spend time with him. In my opinion, we get the best and brightest uh, of the students that are, that are at least exploring the iPal program. We get to capture those students uh, and engage with those students early on. So one of the projects I worked on was a hotel in Charlotte. And for this project, I had to uh, make renderings for the exterior uh, to show clients about uh, drawings for the different types of rooms and also working in general drawings, so working in plan, section, and elevation to get the project from beginning to end. I have learned a lot. I've been uh, pursuing projects, generating ideas, and generating designs and uh, books and illustrations and presentations to pursue those uh, jobs and, and projects. On the construction side, I've been out to sites and I've actually been given a lot of responsibility. We've tested Ala. We've put him out there and he actually every time he seems to hit the ball out of the park. You know, it's kind of amazing. Here he's been able to gain an understanding of what it's like to work with a team and build consensus. Knowing your stuff, knowing the architectural component is extremely important, but at the same time knowing how to deliver your message, knowing how to talk to the person across the table from you, how to lead conversations and connect people to each other, all of those you do not get as a student. I think many times mentorship is always thought about as kind of from the top down. What can we share that is of value to these young professionals? But I gotta tell you, it goes both ways. He has mentored us and brought to us a new way of thinking. When you kind of funnel yourself or you squeeze yourself through that very tight spot that is hard to get through, you come out of the other side a different person. And the program was, in, in ways, my funnel in order to get to the other side.